first of all, so a quick intro of me because I can't see anyone that knows me apart from Christoph, who just joined. Uh, <laughs> so um, I became a parenting coach uh, seven years ago. And for the last five or six, basically, my INSEAD friends would tell me, is this a side job or is this your actual, this is actually your full job, your full-time job? Because obviously it's not the most common thing to, um, to do these, to do this uh, coming out of INSEAD. Well, certainly after, after many years coming out of INSEAD. Uh, and I actually came into this because of the disagreements I had with my wife at the time. And uh, it was very challenging. And actually, what's interesting is this lockdown, and I'm going to talk about this uh, during the presentation, creates a lot of can can create a lot of tension between couples. Some are really, you know, loving this, but a lot are struggling, particularly the ones with children, because obviously it it allows for so much time together, which is not the most common thing, uh, and so it can create a lot of tension. So I'm going to give you a little bit of advice on that. Hopefully, uh, you can. Uh, I can ease things down. But so I came in from, so we disagreed and we, thankfully I ended up looking at the different, all the science of parenting. And I realized there is a science to it, which I really thought I came from the kind of, hey, there are so many theories out there. No one agrees, so many contradictory books. So there's nothing to it. But actually I realized that the science of parenting is so close to the science of leadership. So having, you're all familiar with that, I'm sure. And that's what we studied in Seattle and, and, and after, and we've applied it in our daily lives. And so there's actually a lot of parallels and we're not talking management here, but really leadership. And so you'll see that the tools I'm going to suggest today are very much around this um, science of leadership and what we, uh, you know, what we should apply more at work as well as at home. So let's get started. So first of all, I want to acknowledge because this is a time um, where we all need to really acknowledge how difficult, you know, no generation before us has actually lived through something like this. No one. Ever. This is completely uncharted territories, a lot of uncertainty that's never been seen. And it's really important to acknowledge this for ourselves, for our sanity, as well as for our children. So that, that's uh, what I want to, oh, okay. That's, uh, I forgot to check that everything's working. And one second. So my slide, yeah, here it is. So there's a total uncertainty, as I was saying, on when this, so why it's a difficult time for us. Um, so it's going to, we don't know when it's going to end the lockdown as well as the crisis and the impact of the world economy. So, you know, I'm going to sit through this quickly because, um, obviously we're all aware of that. Um, and we're having to juggle our work with managing the kids, homeschooling. I mean, yeah, I'll give you a bit of advice on that. Totally new, how to make them more responsible, how to make sure that they're not always you know, asking questions while you're in the middle of a presentation. Um, okay. Sorry. Back to just the control works one other. Okay. One of the difficulties for us parents is actually to find consequences. So I, I mean, uh, I call consequences. I try to, we, you know, in my, everything I'll show you, we try to move away from punishment and we, and it's all about consequences and, and the more logical the consequence, the better. So for example, the typical consequence, if you watch, you're too, watching too many, too much screens and your children, for example, agreed to, only watch half an hour of something or play for half an hour on their console and they're still on it when you check again, well, there's usually a consequence and the logical and natural consequence of this is to remove the screen. Well, guess what? That's not on the table right now, is it? <laughs> because you do need them to, not only you do work on the screens, but also sometimes you're too busy to actually, um, you know, so it is the nanny, the, you know, the, the, the sitter, <laughs> of the time is, is the screens and it's, uh, you can't remove the screens. I mean, you can temporarily, obviously. But so the, the problem is the consequences when you're in confinement are much harder to find. It's not like, oh, you can't, you know, unfortunately you can't go see your friends today because you didn't do this or that or something logical that's related because you don't have this. <laughs> you don't. So, so this makes it a lot harder, which is why you really have to focus on, and we'll see this, on the, the family dynamics, on the positive, on everyone feeling as a team and wanting to do things, not because of punishment or consequences, but because they understand that we're all in this together. Then social interactions are obviously very important to our lives. And actually there's research now, recent research that shows that um, pa parents, work, and particularly working parents between the ages, well, all working parents, actually it is working parents, between the ages of 30 to 40, 
or actually at the more the more depressed and the, the sad basically the less happy they've ever been in the previous generations and the key and and the what the research shows is mainly because they are spending a lot more time with their kids and a lot less time with their friends so they are so because they are so obviously it's great by the way so don't get me going on it's so important that we do spend time with our kids but it really is a bad quality time and because social interactions are so important and so we shouldn't cut this off and that's what working parents do between the age of 30 40 they usually cut up, cut down on seeing their friends because they have to find some friends assigned time somewhere and this is actually proved detrimental to their happiness overall and so obviously when you are in lockdown this only increases you know, because it's not the same to be speaking over the phone obviously so we are in a, in a, in a very you know it's a very difficult time so our coping strategies are, are, are diminished considerably because we don't have the same as, as usual. Um, well, no external help possible this time for the ones, the lucky ones who have nannies or things like that, unless you have someone live in, um, you know, obviously it's difficult and it makes all of it and a lot more work. And finally, I mentioned that potential disagreements with our partner on how to be a good parent. And this is a big one because it can affect our children as well. And I'm going to talk about this in a minute. 